I've had a few questions recently about the lighting that I put into my models, uh, people asking for tips and tricks uh, on electronics. Now, I'm not really the person to ask for this because I think although the lighting in my models probably looks quite cool, I'm not doing anything particularly complicated. Uh, and the fact is I'm not an expert on electronics by any means. So I thought it'd be useful to put a quick video together just to go over how I do lighting for models. Because honestly, it's not that hard. Um, and it's deliberately so because I really don't know um, all that much electronics. So for a long time I would actually avoid putting lighting in my models um, purely because I always seem to manage to explode LEDs. Um, I think I'd usually get the resistors wrong so the voltage was too much and they would quickly burn out. Uh, but what I recently found was that you can buy pre-wired LEDs on eBay. Uh, and that was a bit of a revelation because it means that I didn't need to start worrying about which resistors to add and which sort of circuit to build. I could literally buy the LEDs, apply a voltage and they would just work. So I didn't need to worry about any of the intricacies of uh, figuring out the exact resistors and so on. So what I do is to buy pre-wired 12 volt LEDs. So um, all you need to do is connect them up to a 12 volt supply and you're ready to go. And these are really good because they come in a variety of sizes and also a variety of types and a variety of colors. So you can um, get uh, flickering LEDs, which are probably my favorites. And you can see some orange flickering LEDs in this model. Um, you can also buy flashing LEDs and constant ones as well. So that's allowed me to add a variety of lighting types to my models with relative ease. What I've also taken advantage of are these things, which are LED strips. And again, these run at 12 volts as well. So all you need to do is connect 12 volts to the strip and you're ready to go. Now, the cool thing about these is if you look at the um, strip here, you can see there's a dividing line. What that is, that means you can actually cut these into sections and have them as individual um, groups of three LEDs. So if you want to light a section of a model, you can just cut out a group of three, attach some wires, and that will run off 12 volts. Now again, these things come in a variety of types, so you can get some which are covered in plastic for external use, um, and others which are not. Those also come in a variety of different colours as well. So these are relatively inexpensive and really, really useful. I'm not quite sure why 12 volts is a standard. I think it might be something to do with uh, the usage in cars, perhaps. But for my purposes, um, that's perfectly fine. All I do is to buy some 12 volt transformers uh, from eBay, and then you can just have a plug on the back of your model, and you can run it straight from the mains. If you are going portable, you can also use a battery pack, and I use uh, a battery pack containing eight AA batteries, which gives 12 volts. And I found that these run for a really long time. So using this method has really transformed my projects uh, in that I can add lighting to wherever I need, and I don't need to know any complicated electronics to do it. In terms of soldering these up, I mean, I suppose you do need to know how to solder, um, but there's a plenty of videos online showing you how to do that. Um, I don't build any complicated circuits. All I do is to add uh, positive to positive and negative to negative, um, and that's that really. Something you can also buy are these programmable um, strips of LEDs. So in this case, they come with a little control box and a remote control. And you can actually put them through a cycle of different lighting patterns. And this is something I did for my female Android project. Um, I wanted to have some sort of interactive lighting going on um, for some of the mechanical detail in the base. So uh, I bought this short LED strip, which was about £12, something like that. So not hugely expensive. Um, and I just literally put that into the model. I didn't do anything to it. I connected it to 12 volts and I just left that to run on a cycle so that adds some nice interesting lighting effects to the model with relatively little effort on my part. The transformers I use use 5.5 by 2.1 mil uh, plugs. So what you can do is buy a bunch of these uh, for your model. So what I do is to put a socket in the base of the model and then feed some power lines up the leg or wherever so I can feed power into the model. I can then just plug any 12 volt transformer into the base of the model and the model will run with no problem. And you can buy pre-wired cables um, for this if you need to. So if you look at my display case here, what you can see is I've actually run some cable down the inside of the case, um, and each of those has got a 5.5 by 2.1 uh, power adapter on it. So I can then just plug each model uh, into the power, and they'll all run off a single power supply. 
Another lighting effect that I've used in my projects are these, and these are NeoPixel rings, and I've used these in a variety of projects previously. What they are are programmable lighting rings which you have to connect to an Arduino, which is a small programmable computer, a little bit like a Raspberry Pi. Now I appreciate that might sound a bit complicated if you're getting into programming, but I have to say I'd never tried this before um, I had a go. I'm not a programmer, I don't really know what I'm doing with this sort of thing, but I did find it relatively easy to connect the Arduino up to my computer and there's free software that allows you to do that. I then downloaded some code from the internet um, and basically changed that around a little bit to allow me to create some interesting and lighting effects. So I would encourage you to have a go at this even if you've not done any programming before because it was relatively easy to do. They're also relatively inexpensive. I was able to buy five Arduinos for about £20 and the lighting rings themselves are about six or seven pounds. So it's not hugely expensive. And you can achieve some really nice lighting effects with these if you start adding them behind some clear resin and things like that. So there's quite a lot you can do with them. So I hope that was useful for anyone wondering. Like I say, there's nothing particularly complicated about it and that's deliberately so because I'm not an expert in electronics. Um, so I hope that was useful. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.